Hey everybody, just a short video today to look at an analysis tool within Civil 3D and also Map 3D. That analysis tool is a buffer analysis and let me show you how it works. What we're going to do is we're going to start with some geospatial data that's currently represented as a shapefile, um, which is a number of fire hydrants for a uh, particular municipality. What I would like to do is I want to ensure that I've got coverage with these hydrants such that they serve the area that they're um, set up for. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a radius or a buffer around each hydrant to define each hydrant's coverage of 350 feet and uh, any areas uh, that aren't covered by those hydrants or any gaps that we might have um, that that buffer analysis would show us that we've got an area that we need to address or it may show us that we've got all the coverage that we need. So let's uh, let's get started performing the analysis. We'll begin by taking the shapefile itself. I'm going to drag it into my model here and let go. Now my model itself has already got a projection associated with it so those hydrants will come in and reproject themselves if need be onto the coordinate system I'm currently working with. Uh, once in, once it's in, because we've got a coordinate system associated, I'm going to use my geolocation to automatically turn on some aerial imagery so we get a better perspective of what we're looking at. And when that comes up, we'll zoom up on the screen here and look at this, this area. And uh, the hydrants by default are a green color, making it a little hard to see, and I'm sure we could all agree that fire hydrants should probably be shown in red. So I'm going to come over to the map task pane, and uh, by just double picking on the hydrants itself, I can come over and then double pick on the style being used to represent the hydrants, and we can redefine that. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to change the fill color to red, and I'm also going to bump the size up to 5 just so that they're a little bit easier to see. So we'll click on Apply, Close, and then Close out of there. All right, so we have hydrants. If I was to look at that initially and look at a 350-foot radius, areas that I may or may not have adequate coverage, um, yeah, I'm a little concerned with this area here, but we'll have to uh, take a look at that a little bit further. It'll be easier for us to tell after we perform the analysis. Now, to perform the analysis, we can type the command in, which is a fairly long command. I can also grab it from the uh, interface, but to do that, I'm going to switch to the map planning and analysis um, task or the uh, workspace so that I've got those ribbons up on the screen. I know what the command is, but uh, it's a pretty long command, so we'll, we'll uh, take a look at it so we can pull it from the menu. So if we go to the Analyze ribbon, we come down to Feature Buffer. The actual command is Map FDO Buffer Create. So uh, in lieu of typing that in, which would also work without changing the uh, workspace, I'm going to go ahead and just select the icon to launch the command. What I'm going to do next is I can select Features all of the uh, objects I would like to perform the analysis on. So we'll just select features and I'm going to create, uh, we won't do them all for right now, there's 273. It'd take like 30 or 40 seconds for it to run all of them. For right now we'll just go ahead and just grab 70 so you can see how it works. Select objects, I don't have any more that I would like to select, so we'll hit enter to uh, complete the selection process. The next thing that I'll do is I'm going to tell it the distance I'm going to go is 350 feet. It's automatically going to create a uh, buffer, and then it's going to build a uh, SDF file in the, uh, in the folder that I've got set here. Right now it's set to buffer 2. Let's maybe just call this, uh, we'll say, fire hydrant. So in addition to displaying the analysis on the screen, it's also going to create an SDF file that we could leverage in other uh, models or other maps or other exhibits to uh, show this coverage area. Finally, after it creates all the circles, I have the options to uh, how we're going to resolve any uh, merging situations that exist. I'm going to go ahead and merge all the buffers so that I have basically one um, topology, I guess, for a buffer, if you will, to uh, represent the uh, area of coverage for my hydrants. So we'll click OK. We'll let that go through and process. And based on the ones that we've selected, I can see that I, uh, I do, in fact, have some coverage areas in here that we want to take a look at and uh, perhaps address. At the same time, we'll come down. I can see that there are uh, also some areas on this edge here that may be of concern. Um, we can come down even and look into this area here. There happens to be a um, house or a structure that uh, currently would not be serviced by that 350 feet. All right, so by performing a buffer analysis, in this case, we can 
um, perform a quick analysis using just some simple geospatial data and an aerial photo to determine things like uh, fire hydrant coverage or give us some, uh, some ideas we get uh, some perspective if we've got any concerns or some things that we need to look at. We could also perform the same type of analysis on parcels and, and things like that as well. So hopefully this uh, information has been helpful. You'll be able to use it in the future. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.